Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, it's Pater Review time. Now this is from goldfeverprospecting.com. It's this three pound, 1.5 gram loaded bag. Now this seller has been around for quite a while. They've been on my list forever. But one of the reasons I've never reviewed them is because they are more of like a prospecting store where Pater to me, seems like an afterthought you know if you go to their website it's a very complicated website and there's just a ton of information about a ton of stuff and then they have a little section about pay dirt where they sell different types of pay dirt and it just doesn't seem to be their main focus which isn't a problem i mean you can focus whatever you want on but they do sell pay dirt and it's just like i said it doesn't seem to me like it's their main focus so i've always kind of just put them off put them off put them off but I figured it's about time to buy one of their bags. They do offer a lot of variety of bags. And sometimes it's a good deal and sometimes it's not. It, to me, I've never noticed they update their prices really quickly when the price goes down. So you really need to wait till price of gold goes up and then the prices seem a little better, which is why I finally got around to doing this. Because with their price and the price of gold, I figured I'd have a semi-decent ROI on this bag. And plus, because of the description, I didn't think I'd find a lot more. But let me get into that description on this. Like I said, this is a three pound bag. It was guaranteed 1.5 grams of gold. And here's their description. Our pater is straight from the gold loaded streams of the historic mother load of California. That's it. That's their entire description. They have a huge website and they sell everything. If there's anything you need to do with gold prospecting, they probably have it. Now, I'm not saying they're the cheapest price or the best price. I tend to find that the prices are about par with what you can get on the, around the web. But it's, most times I've found their shipping makes it more expensive. Um, you know, if I price them, their price might be the exact same as Amazon. But then I found their shipping to be a lot more expensive. So I've always gone with other people. But I haven't checked out everything they have. They have a ton of stuff. They have books, everything. So you can... It's, their website is well worth checking out just to see the different types of equipment out there. Even if you never buy gold from them or anything from them, it's a great resource to just find stuff. I mean, there's a lot of cool sluices on there and gold pans and all kinds of stuff they have on there, just so you know about them. Now, like I said, their description is really, really lacking. So I did email them. I asked them the typical questions and here is their reply. Yes, it is gold bearing material. However, we ask that you have real, realistic expectations for how much extra gold will likely be in a random small three pound sample. The pater will be fairly easy to pan out as we removed most of the heavy minerals and iron based heavy black sands. The standard mix is geared for beginners. So this should be really easy to pan out. It's three pounds. After my last couple things where I've been doing a lot a fine gold lately something easy will be a nice change of pace well let me show you so as you can see it comes in one of my most dreaded uh potato flour sack bags whatever these are these little plastic sandbags i'm not a fan of them but it does come double bag so it does come in another bag but the problem is is this bag is leaking right into this other bag and the reason i don't like these bags is because they don't keep material really in them. Fine stuff will get out. Now, I'm not too worried about this because, like they said, this is for beginners, so I don't think there'll be much flower gold in here, but I will run this through some water to make sure I get everything out of it. I'm trying to be careful with it and not move it around too much so I don't lose any material that might be in it. Let me put it in a little cubby so if anything falls out, it goes to where I want it. And it does come in this little plastic bag. It is not a Tyrex bag. It is plastic, and as you can see right there, it is leaking from somewhere in here. Some of it got on the glue. But let's weigh this up. It's supposed to be three pounds. I did weigh it up, but I honestly don't remember if it was three pounds or not. So this will remind me just as well as it does you. So let's see. There we go. Five pounds, seven ounces. So well over the three pounds. Now, one thing I will say is normally I would be ecstatic about that. But when they tell you not to have any really expectations for finding extra gold to me that just means extra dirt to pan through but that is always fun too you know it would be more fun if i thought there'd be extra gold in that extra two pounds two and a half pounds but we'll see what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let you listen to some music i'm gonna classify this down and then 
show you what we get. So I accidentally turned off the camera and then I realized I turned it off when I was supposed to be classifying. I don't know why I did that. I have no clue. Uh, anyway, let's classify it down. This is material that was in the bag. This is the pants it's going to go into. Let's classify it down. Let's listen to some music. As you can see, a lot of material in the plus 10 and then in the lower classifications as well. Not as much here, but from their description as well as the customer service email I got from them, I'm guessing the majority of material or gold will be in these top three. I don't expect to find almost anything in here. So I didn't see any gold in any of the classifications, but I'm assuming that it should all be in here. I'm hoping to find a little piece in the plus 10 or not. That's a lot of material to go through if there's no gold in here. But because they did say that there shouldn't be anything really in there, I'm not going to get upset if I don't find anything in here because they did tell me. Now, I wish it was in the description because a lot of people won't email you. But I'm going to go, and I will say one thing before I go pan this up, this stuff, as you can see from the edges of my pan, is extremely dusty and silty. So I'm imagining this is going to really foul up my water. But we're going to see. I'm going to go pan this out and be right back. But I, but I also need to check just in case, even though again, it said that there wouldn't be any, I will check. Uh, there is some, I mean, they said they took it all out, but there is some in here and there's not a lot, but there is some, I mean, I mean, this is almost six pounds. That's so not a ton of it. Let's see in the larger, just to see. Really not, I mean, not much. So, but again, we'll find out once I pan it out. So I'm gonna be right back and see what kind of gold we found. Okay, finished panning everything out. And I have to say, it was fairly easy material, except for the silt, I mean, had a lot of big material in there and the silt though did sink rather quickly it was more of just being really really dry as opposed to being really really silty and muddy so it wasn't too bad overall but let's get to what i found which is the most important thing the gold so in the plus 10 i did find gold seven pieces to be exact nice little pieces they are really really flat now I would call all these pickers, I wouldn't call any of them a nugget because like I said, they are pretty flat, so none of them weigh a lot, but plus 10 material is always good. Now I will say before I get to the rest, I always find it really funny. I get so many questions all the time on tips and tricks for panning really fine gold, and yet my nemesis has always been the plus 10 material. It's something I just tend to want to pan through really, really quickly because in my mind, you can't miss plus 10 gold. And yet I always manage to have to <laughs> repan it and get that nugget I missed because I'll just be panning it all of a sudden I'll see it go over the side and then I'll just mentally kick myself that I let it get through. And yet when I'm doing minus 40, that doesn't happen. Usually it's just because the material is so fine that the gold will float or something like that, but it's just not me being overly aggressive panning it like I am with a plus 10. 
And I always thought that was funny. Every time I hear the question, someone asking me, I'm always like, well, I just need tips on how to do the plus 10. And I know I just need to slow down. But that was just something I want to say to be funny or that I thought was funny. Now, to the minus 10 plus 20, I found even more gold. A lot of it. And it's kind of funny. It's all either big or tiny. So some of this probably could have got under this classification and probably some of it could have got over this classification. But I did find gold. And that's always really important. And again, really flat gold, shiny flat gold. And then I got to the minus 20 plus 40 and found even more gold. Well, not more, but more gold. About eight pieces. So started to go down there. But like I said, I didn't expect to find a lot once it got smaller and smaller. And then I got to the minus 40 and found even more gold. Not much, but I mean, I did find it. I mean, there's a nice little pile of fly poop there. I mean, I don't think it'll move the scale any, but it really surprised me. I didn't think there would be any in that classification, but there was just a little bit, enough to make you honestly believe that this is real gold mining material that someone obviously added more gold to, but at least it's real pay dirt. So let's listen to some music and I'll put this all in boats. Let's weigh it up. I'll zoom you in a little bit. So you can see, let's do the plus 10. Zero point eight three nine. About that, not too bad. Now I gotta say, once I saw the plus 10, I started seeing the gold in there. I just kept thinking, oh man, I hope it's not 1.5 grams of plus 10 material. But as you can see, it wasn't. It was gold in every classification. It kind of petered down. There you go. 0 0.713. So I have my 1.5 grams I was guaranteed. And this doesn't look like there's really that much that's going to bump it up much. Yeah. So I'm just going to. So 0 0.15 of that. And I'm just going to add this and we'll just do the total. I don't think this will budge the scale much, if anything. Oh, it did. Moved it up a little bit. A uh, little bit. Zero point one five seven four. Not too bad, not too shabby. And I will say, I get a lot of questions a lot of times about easy to pan painter. And this obviously would be one. And they also did when I asked them, they said they can make the material larger for kids. And this to me is pretty large material. Obviously, I guess they're talking about the under 10 material. I guess they could add that, change that to plus 10. But I thought it was pretty good. I mean, this is good stuff where the kids can go through it, go through the boulders. Kids always like material that's got lots of big rocks in it. And once they get through that, the parent can go through and get all this little stuff, the under 10 stuff. But pretty good. So I'm going to be right back with my final ROI and my review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review. Let's get right to it. This, again, was from goldfeverprospecting.com. It was their three pound, 1.5 gram loaded bag. So it was guaranteed 1.5 grams of gold. Its cost was $77 on sale from 85, but it's been on sale from 85 for two months now that I've noticed. So it might be one of those permanent sales, you know, where they're permanently on sale, but the price I paid was $77. It's currently $77. Shipping was $10.49. Total cost $87.49. Gold I recovered right here. 1.574 grams of gold. So a little bit over what was guaranteed. Gold spot as the day I received this was $41.39. So it's was actually a little better than what it currently is. I think it's went down to somewhere around $41.20 right now, but I got it at $41.39. So this here's gold value is $65.15, which means my ROI is 74.47%, which is 7.4 on my scale. And that's pretty good. I can't, I'm not going to complain about a 7.4 any day. 
Fun fact, I'm giving it a 10. Now, I know there wasn't a lot of gold in the minus 40, but there was some gold. And it was exactly what they told me it would be in the email. So I was had a lot of fun with it. The one problem, though, is going to be the pay dirt description. And that's going to only get a 4. Because the majority of what I knew about this pay dirt was through an email. And that should never happen. They should What they told me should be in the description. So they're only getting a 4 for that. For quantity and packaging, they're getting an 8.5. It was over the 3 pounds. It was almost double what they guaranteed on that. But the shipping packaging could be a little bit better. The plastic bag it came in wasn't sealed very well. It was leaking. And the secondary bag that it's wrapped in isn't really a bag meant to keep dirt in. I mean, it allows dirt to feed through it. For customer service and shipping, they're getting a 10 on both. What surprised me is this is, like I said before, a really big kind of prospecting store. I really didn't think they would answer my email when I emailed them. I was thinking, oh, they're going to be too busy with all their other things that this is, like I said, I thought it would be as a secondary project. But they actually answered my email within 48 hours, which is pretty much my cutoff. I mean, I don't mind waiting 48 hours. I know people have things to do. So I typically give companies 48 hours before I start thinking maybe I should email them again. But they answered well within the 48 hours. They answered my questions as I showed you or what, as I told you in the description. So I was really happy with that. So they get a 10 for that. So total score for goldfeverprospecting.com is going to be an 8. Pretty good score. I mean, their score would be a lot better if they just upped their description, which is something that all companies really need to work on, including them. Up the description. You'll up your score. Up, up, up. All right. That's going to be it. All I have to do is let you look at the score right here and then come back and we're going to give away this 24 karat gold plated dime. So look at the score right here. Now, before I give this away, I do have two shout outs for my two newest members on my Patreon page and they are Enrique, Enrique Garcia and Timothy Hicks. I think I got those right. I'm not very good with <laughs> names or cities or anything like that, but I think I got that right. Timothy Hicks, I know I got that one. Enrique Garcia, I think I got that one right as well. Now, for this, this is going to Jason Sherry 777. So Jason Sherry 777, you'll see your name pop up right here. Make sure you email me so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, as always, thanks for watching and happy panning.